I've gotten quite a few questions about how to go about fixing plot holes in your comic, because some of you haven't taken my advice on writing everything out first. And like, I guess even if you have, that doesn't really stop plot holes from happening, unfortunately. We all could wish. We all could dream. So before I go into any of this, the first easiest, simplest advice I have on this is to admit that there is a mistake. Sometimes plot holes are just going to be too difficult and not worth the pain they will cause you in fixing them. So like even large productions have issues and web comics consist of such a small team or even just a single person working on it. So like grin and bear some of these, you know, laugh them off. No muss, no fuss. Okay, just keep that in mind. Like you don't have to have your work be perfect. Now we can kind of get into how to actually go about fixing things with that kind of disclaimer out of the way. So let's talk about um, how to fix what's fixable now that we got the unfixable out of the way. Writing kind of this way feels a lot like fixing a parachute before you hit the ground. And as such, the earlier you start fixing, the better it's going to be for you. The more passes you can do and the more chance you have actually softly hitting the ground and not shattering all your bones, okay? And like the problem I have in answering this question is that it's kind of such a case-by-case -case basis. Each plot hole comes with its own unique challenges and the more you fix, the more you'll get a knack for doing it. But, you know, that's a non-answer. So instead, I'm going to give you my toolkit on how to fix your parachute, okay? These are things that help me when I approach any plot issue, large or small. The first thing I do is I isolate the plot hole. Um, I find out what storylines it affects. Make sure that you reread your work at this point. Things sometimes connect in ways that you totally forgot, and it's good to have those in mind before you start fixing anything. And so once you understand where the plot hole's place is in the story, you need to kind of gain a sense of what you have to work with. So I categorize the plot's bits in my mind, like what makes up the plot that surrounds this hole? And the plot that surrounds the plot hole will be in three different states, the, the states of matter. So there's solid bits of plot, and these are parts of the plot that have already happened. They have been posted on your website. They are solid. The liquid ones are a plot that hasn't happened yet, but is on course to happening. And the final is gas, and that plot bit is still in the idea phase. It's just written down, it's jotted, it's not solidified, it's not liquefied, it's nothing. It's it's still an idea. You have so much to work with in this case. So when I have all of that listed out, I have all my kind of plot ideas like what's the general things that goes in the gas col column. <laughs> the liquid is like things that have been like written out, maybe some sketching has been done, and then there's solid is all those plot points that I cannot change. Uh, very easily. So when all this information is laid out in front of me, I kind of get a sense of what I have to work with. I start by looking in the ideas column, you know, like the ideal thing is that you can change something and fix your plot hole just in the gas stage, that you will fix the plot hole that way and you can never have to deal with it again. And the ways you kind of fix fix this way is kind of looking into like possible twists that could explain explain what you've messed up, or a potential revelation, or maybe a later explanation that could like fix this problem. Usually when I'm fixing ideas in this stage, especially if it's kind of a major thing that has to shift, there will be a slight ripple backwards throughout the other elements of the plot column thing. Like, usually um, it will require maybe like a few line changes here or there in my script so that I can add foreshadowing to this part, but hopefully it doesn't cause you too much stress. And if you try everything out in this stage, um, from redirecting plots, endings, and like all the backstory stuff, like you try all of that um, and it fails, then you need to start changing some of those liquid elements. Like this means like rewriting scenes sometimes, deleting scenes, like deleting scenes that take you down the wrong path. Like these can be really frustrating changes to make, but they're really good for curing plot holes in a more thorough way, I find. But they're really annoying and... 
Um, the final stage, if you can't change anything like in the future to fix things, you're going to have to go into the solidified scenes and see what you can do about that. So it's a lot harder to do, but sometimes there's some really simple ways that you can change things and without causing yourself too much work. So like start by looking at the dialogue that you have. If you can alter dialogue and reword things in the right way, you can change your entire plot without having to redo artwork. Like that is the dream. Like you can sometimes do this. Uh, second, you may need to change some panels and like the elements within the panels, like maybe add like a prop that is very important that needs to be added later. Like those can be changes that won't require you to destroy everything. Like see what you can do with it. It's not sacred just because it's published. You can probably like redo it unless it's gone out to print. Then maybe like, oh my God, th that's the struggle. That's the, that's the real struggle. That's where you need to start thinking about like um, just dismissing it and just not letting it hurt you. And <laughs> step away from it. Just see what you can do that causes the least amount of damage. And if none of that works, like that's when you need to determine whether it's time to start over or if it's like time to like pick a battle. You've lost against this plot hole. That's okay. If it's early on and completely in tatters, like there's tons of plot holes throughout it, it might be time to just start from scratch and. Well, it's not even scratch at that point, because at least you have a having a, a subpar first draft is better than having no first draft. OK, like you still learn something. It's not a failure if you need to start over to fix these things. Don't worry about it. Whatever you choose is going to be what's right for you. Again, before you do all of that, never underestimate the power of a few words. OK, you can rewrite things with a single additional page or a deletion of a scene. Sometimes that's all you need. Just look at it first and see if you can make things work. And like I said at the very beginning of this, plot holes are really tricky to deal with. You know, we all have to deal with them. You need to just get better at doing them. So every mistake you make is getting you better at fixing them in the future. So when you have that huge, crazy plot hole in your magnum opus that needs to go out tomorrow, like you will be prepared. You will have all the the plot hole um, stitching experience, you know? You'll be able to stitch up your parachute like a foot before the ground and you'll land perfectly. Maybe a little bit of a scuff, but you'll be fine, you know? The more you fix, the better you are at it. I would give more specific advice, but this is such a specific problem. Um, some more advice I'd have is never delete, um, never delete, start a new file to work on your plot hole. You want to have that original so you can go back to step one if it fails, if your plot hole and if your plot hole fixing makes it worse, worse, you will want to have that original file. So, so keep it, do not write over it. Okay. Another advice I have is to talk to other people about their opinions on it. Get a trusted friend, someone who you know gives good critique, and just like ask them about the plot hole, ask their ideas on how you would fix it. They'll probably give you ideas that you think are like the worst. You'll be like, why would it do that? But like sometimes they're what you need to spring you into the right direction, even if they don't give you the exact answer that you need. And sometimes they won't even have noticed the plot hole. And at that point, you might need to step back and think, maybe, maybe this isn't the battle I want to fight. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I am done. Um, if there are any plot holes in this video, I am not going to go back and fix them. But I will do retcons in the future, so look forward to that one. Sorry, um, like, comment, subscribe, check out my store if you want to check out my comics. Uh, or you can check them out online, or you can buy them and check them out. I'm at Fan Expo this weekend. Or maybe I'm already there. Wait, I'm already there. I'm at Fan Expo. Holy heck, what a world we're in for. Um, <laughs> bye. High five.